Rim Rims of Jerry Egypt, it is a new day. Rejoice as your pharaoh steroid has cast down the corrupt dynasty of kings. Uh, secretly. He secretly did it. Nobody knows. No longer shall we have decadent Jerry's taking control of the entire city and building things on a whim. We won't have warlords like Wes blindly going for revenge and ignoring everything else that's happened. Or Dodgy Dave, weak, limp, dodgy Dave claiming to be a healer and then missing all the important parts of the city. Maybe this is controversial. Maybe the senators that we bought in from Reem had a greater influence on the politics of this great nation. Maybe we are becoming a little bit too... Democratic is the wrong word. A little bit too much of a republic and a little less of a <laughs> total dictatorship. But this is the beginning of a whole new era. And many suggested that what Steroid did was was out of character. Oh, but, but of course, it was completely out of character for Steroid, a character born seemingly as a miracle to replace the current heir at the time. Dodgy Dave, the weak, pathetic Dodgy Dave who didn't live up to his father's Wes's legacy. A character who was forced from a young age to emphasize violence and trickery and bloodlust. Of course, that was out of character. But, but, but of course, it wouldn't make any sense that a character who was given an entirely special brand new rank by Dodgy Dave to make up for the fact that Dodgy Dave was completely incapable of leading this nation. No, no, it wouldn't make sense that he would want to try and maintain that power. Quite famously, Steroid has never been violent. But, but I mean, sure, maybe it was out of character, but I mean, it's not like Steroid was... I don't know, recently forced to watch as his father turned his back on the colony, came back with a horde of tribal raiders, was then psychically forced to kill his own father, watch his brother die of the flu, and then be expected to decide a successor. No, 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 I'm sure he was emotionally sound. But no, of course you're right, I couldn't imagine a child who was groomed from birth to be the replacement pharaoh for Dodgy Dave to then become the replacement pharaoh for Dodgy Dave. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. Of course a lot of people are quick to point out that uh, killing Dodgy Dave and the uh, two twins, secretly of course, would only cause the problem of this very old colony to get even older. Oh, well that was until we've now got a bunch of replacement children. A bunch of replacement children who aren't horribly inbred and like the other two, and then of course a big future for this colony. Ruiz and Steroid, they're in a lovely relationship. All I had to do was play a little matchmaker. Maybe you should have more faith in your pharaoh, but don't worry, I'm, I'm generous. I will let you off. Oskra will allow this indiscretion. But the descent, of course, will be dealt with. Harshly. Regina and Black Magic are beginning their marriage ceremony. This is lovely. Regina and Black Magic, of course, Regina was married to, uh, well, Dodgy Dave wanted to marry her, but then she married Wes, and then she married uh, Senator, uh, who is, uh, of course, Black Magic, and now they've got three kids. This is nice. And, and these kids are all half siblings of steroid. You can tell because they've got that same... That same grey hair, which must be a trait of that family. And then there's little one. A whole new beginning to a whole new dynasty. Father is Milky One. Mother is Lumpy Aronidas. That's nice. They're bar barely related to a lot of the other people in the colony. They're like second cousins with quite a few of them. Still got the same lines running through there. So a couple of days have passed since we left off yesterday because I wanted to get a little bit of work done on uh, especially the library. That is now finished, thank god, between a couple of trade caravans and constantly harvesting a massive amount of wood from the trees that we're growing. We've got the, the drago trees there, we've got a load of palm trees and cactuses and everything. Between that we finally managed to finish the whole thing. I also replaced all of the wooden, well almost all of the wooden furniture in the base with limestone stuff. You'll also notice I took apart all the tables and chairs that were up here so that we could build that a little quicker, but also so that we can move the school over into the library because I think that makes a lot more sense. So with the school building, all I've done is built rows of limestone stools. I threw up a couple of these banners too. It turns out you can make this out of limestone and cloth, both of which we have thousands and thousands of, and they look really nice. And then I turned it into a little council chamber. I thought having a council chamber kind of near the main square, but also near the entrance and the stables, that way if we get visitors from Reem or whatever else, we can host them right away. Now with both Dodgy Dave and Wes, there was almost no technological progress whatsoever. Wes had some good stuff going on there, but Dodgy Dave not really. To be fair, Dodgy Dave wasn't fair for long. But we've barely scratched the surface of the medieval era, and we've been here for a long, long time. So with Tetmate dealing with the building and the city planning, Brody dealing with the uh, the more religious and spiritual aspect of things, Glasses dealing with the military, Steroid can focus on making this city incredible. He can he can really step things up, and hopefully we can get some much better technology. It also turns out that after a little bit of testing, it's a little macabre too, that by meditating at the statue of his father Wes, who he executed, and his grandfather Jerry, Steroid can get like a ridiculous amount of side focus compared to the tree. I tried it on a few different art things, and fortunately you can't meditate at the pyramid or the sphinx. 
Because those would, of course, be... Those would be the right choice, huh? We're going to split steroids days between... Just doing the doing the, the meditation there and actually getting on with the research. 14.37 intellectual right now. Won't take him long to get that up to a really good level, especially if he stays there all day. The melee will drop, of course, slowly over time. But, I mean, whenever we're in a raid, this guy's proven that he can single-handedly hold back floods of raiders. But, of course, that's a little out of character. I mean, he's not a violent man. <laughs> single-handedly kills 60 raiders. I sleep. Kills two children who supplanted him and stole the throne that he was promised his entire life. Real shit. Unbelievable. The ancient Egyptians did way worse. That's like real baby shit compared... Why are you sleeping in there? Oh, he wanted to sleep in Ruiz's house rather than, I don't know, the presidential mansion. You moron. Whose baby is this? Come get your man. Did I look at the baby? I think I forgot to look at the baby. Tomomi won. She's okay. She's fine. Uh, just turned one quadrum. Congratulations. Plants nine, animals nine. Ah, oh, there's a lot of good stuff here. Cooking, social, could be really good. We don't have a good warden anymore. Animal person. Uh, sorry, animal lover. Cat person. Cannibal. Cannibal. You really don't like people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Loves animals, hates people. Or maybe loves people a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, that's also worth mentioning. I went through between the episode and looked at everybody's armor sets because I thought that probably wasn't very interesting and there's no point doing that mid-video. Why do they keep teleporting around? There's something very wrong with these dragons. I went through all the armor sets and it turns out I caught it just in time. Tet Matei's armor is down to 4%. Now, there are ways to repair it, but we need the research. Steroid is going to have to figure out, firstly, how this armor works, what the hell it is, what the hell it's made of. That could take... I mean, of course, that's going to take generations and generations. The equivalent of hundreds of years for our people. So right now, it shall be an ornament on a mantelpiece. It's a shame we can't put it on the ancient reliquary. It would look really good there. Could we just put down like a like a zone below it? <gasps> Oi. Okay. Uh, change of plans. Oh, you still can't place it down because you can't quite reach. Damn it. That's unfortunate. That would look amazing on there. You know what? Good enough. Carry on, Lumpy. <laughs> Close enough. Why not? We still need to get a lot more wood before we can finish the new defenses, but I think this is going to be an absolute killing field when we get this to work. We also need someone really, really fast to man this scorpion. We need to make sure they're wearing light armor or don't have any mood speed negatives or preferably have both legs, which is kind of rare in this colony. When the majority of the enemy is in there, we can dash them through, shut the gate, cut them to ribbons. I mean, that would be incredible. We also need to put another door here, but I need to make sure I keep it open. Otherwise, that's going to ruin everything. Uh, bone? I thought I had a present gate. That seems good. Ooh, ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because this gate's going to be kind of important for making the whole plan work. What if we use plasteel to make a gate? Uh, what's that? What's that hit? Oh. Oh, we can test it. Oh, that's good. Man hunting Animus Vox. Hello there. Oh my god, that's a lot. 54. Oh, good. Another romantic marriage proposal right on the front lines. Lumpyronidas, will you marry me? That's Milky. And Did you not just get married? No, no, no. That was Regina and... Wait. <laughs> who just got married? Regina and who? I'm losing my mind. Black magic. That's it. I'm lo I'm, I am genuinely going insane. There you go. Looks like they finally figured out the way down. Oh, I should save all these defensive positions. No! Oh, emotional damage. Shit. And firmly grasp it. There you go. Everything's fine. Don't panic. I put three people over here who can also operate the adventure when we get them, of course. The, the catapults where we can trap people in. DQ's pretty fast. I can run down here and shut the gate, hopefully. I think they're going to get way too spread out. But should make the bridge a bit larger. Wouldn't be a bad idea. They wouldn't be forced to go in a single file. I wouldn't really make that much of a difference, unfortunately. It would help if they weren't morons. Then I've thrown the few extra crossbow characters here so that they can try and kill people if they get a little too close to our melee squad. Just to give them a bit more cover where they can get out the door. Obviously, the door isn't built yet. Do you have doors on here? If so, the plan will still work. Nope. Oh, we do. Hey, that's good. We're fine. Let's give it a go. As long as we fire a trebuchet shot at the leading enemy, or in this case, fox... <laughs> In theory, we should be able to hit something else, right? Probably the wall and destroy it. Or the or the brewery. Wow, that thing's doing well. Jesus Christ, they take so long to load. I mean, they are... Oh, lion! Friendly lion. Thank you. Yes. Get him, jerk. Get him. <laughs> no way. I mean, it was... It was... Um, what was I thinking? Get back on the damn turret. Don't try it. Well, Tor's whole fool tries taking out a fox with a friggin' trebuchet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Anytime now. Oh, shit, Steroid. You're gonna have to step up here, my friend. 
My God, we did, we just did not have enough wood. But maybe a smarter pharaoh. This is my bad, not steroids. Maybe a smart pharaoh would have built, instead of cosmetic bookshelves, maybe they would have built uh, very much not cosmetic scorpions. Although steroid is on it. Steroid's already on it, don't worry. Steroid, step forward. Nice. Get him. Kill them all. Steroid has proven he can hold the line. Right, everyone else, it's time. Search and destroy. We've already fucked it. Kill them all. It's a bunch of foxes. We should be fine. Oh, these foxes aren't going to retreat, though, are they? Steroid, what's your armor value? Are you still good? I redid all the outfits in between episodes. How are we looking? 180, 74, uh, 174, that is 111. Oh, you are more than good. You're absolutely fine. The dragon's here. Dragon. Dragon, kill them all. What are you doing? Melee attacking. Wait, hauling Animus Vox. Fleeing? What the fuck is the point of these dragons? They didn't do anything. <laughs> kill. We still need to train them. Where well, they are trained. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on up here? I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. I was so caught up in what was happening down there. There were, there were what, like six foxes, seven foxes left. They've savaged three children in black magic. Oh, you actual fool. Um, run. Oh, Bloodlust Extreme. Bleeding out in eight hours. Bleeding out in four hours. Two hours. Two hours. Six hours. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Why did they not stay in their defensive positions? I guess because the threat took so long to get there, they just undrafted as they do. Uh, if you have a pawn drafted up too long, they will just undraft. That's a bit silly. It's very annoying. Ah. Ah. 0 0.9. Come on. Live. Live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Six. Six. Four. Two. One. We're fine. Ooh. <laughs> Might have underestimated those foxes a little bit. Oh, look. We've got that incredible medicine now. Treated herbal medicine. Oh, it's so much better. I think an upgraded hospital might be a good call going forward. So let's get rid of... Um, I'm already expanding the medicine area out so that we can we can store more medicine. Preferably the treated health medicine now that we've got it. Let's expand this out a little bit. We also need to replace the floors with something a bit more sterile. Like silver metal plates would probably do it. Because then there's 0.2. Oh, they're actually kind of shit then, aren't they? Oh! More babies! <laughs> Come from the colony being 70-year-olds to 70 seconds-olds. Like a slick magic. Construction 2, double passion mining 3, double passion cooking 4, double passion. Great memory ecologist. Jesus, that's a good combo. Oh, man. Okay. Um. Well, that's fantastic news. No. No, not like this. I knew it. A colonist named Ruiz, which you have accepted into your ranks, turns out to be an enemy agent... From the southern tribes. Fortunately. She probably... Uh, she's already down. She's incapacitated. Oh, that was convenient. Oh, Ruiz. Did she just admit... Oh, I mean, why can we not just, like, capture her, though? Just, like, capture her. Just capture her. Just capture her? All right. Well, how about this? I'll just capture her this way. We're going to pick you up. And uh, we're just going to dump you in the prison. How about that? Maybe she was talking in her sleep. That's, that's all I can... That's the only thing I, I can explain. Capture. Oh, you fool. Oh, you fool. Get that knife out of here. Or maybe, maybe she thought she was on a deathbed and admitted to steroid I'm, I'm a traitor. You know, I'm from another colony. I'm here to spy on you. In either way, we've got to re-recruit her, right? Otherwise, poor steroid is now... <gasps> Bird! Break his heart. Break his poor little heart. Even if she is hostile, plus 38. He's still fine with her. He's still fine with her. All right, let's bring her back. She's admitted. Maybe maybe we're just going to make her stand trial or something like that. Maybe we could make her stand trial. God, these senators are getting to us. Oh, no, what's next? Abolishing the pharaoh hood and establishing a democracy? I don't think so. Oh, my God, no. If, the, if this is the prisoners. If it's that bloody prisoner again. Oh, it's glasses in DQ. That is... That's a, that's a, that's a savior. That's a 10 out of 10. You remember yesterday, I went through the whole dynasty list and, and uh, Constantine Glasses Strukaravian, or as we know him, Glasses, is is the final surviving member of the uh, of, of that dynasty. Holy crap. Well, this has saved it. And DQ is actually one of our younger colony members. Like 44, but on the younger side. You know what? Your new pharaoh, Steroid, is going to be generous. We're going to allow you an extra... Two hours every single day. Because there isn't much work to do right now, to be realistic. Sure, they can keep training all day. But that was, that was what Wes did. 
Let's let them enjoy the luxuries that they have worked so hard to get. And preferably work hard on each other. <laughs> And repopulate this city. Ronadas has created a limestone grand statue of colonist. Oh, excellent. So this is going to be our statue of... Oh, my God. Can we even grab him now? Copy for colonist. Wes? Uh, Wes, Wes, Wes. Oh, wait, there, no, he's there. He's there. He's there. Oh, thank God. I was going to say it wasn't a colonist when he died, so it might not count. No, it's not Wes we need, you fool. It's Dodgy Dave. <laughs> Two statues for Wes and no statues for Dodgy Dave would be very on brand. There we go. Limestone grand statue of colonist Dodgy Dave. This carving, oh no. This carving bears an image of Dodgy Dave King being killed without emotion or expression. A philosopher watches silently near the main subject. The work is executed in a modern style and it relates to the killing of Dodgy Dave. Dodgy Dave wasn't killed. He died of the flu. You decided to come up with some fan fiction. Sorry, to inscribe on the statue to remember him, you came up with some fan fiction of him, what, being murdered? That seems a little bullshit. I won't lie. <laughs> well, off to the Valley of the Kings for you. Let's get all of these statues updated with the Kemetic robes as well instead of the togas. We've, we've moved past that now. This apparently also had gloves on a statue without hands. <laughs> <laughs> Some Rayman shit. I hate to say it, once again, Steroid is proving his superiority over Dodgy Dave or potentially anyone else. His current research? Flutonics. As in the thing that would have saved Dodgy Dave's life. The irony isn't lost. I've redone the syllabus a little bit. Instead of training them in melee, that honestly is kind of outdated at this point. We're just going to go shooting across the board for everybody. It's much, much safer too. And now we can operate siege engines, which is a bit more appropriate. Shooting, medicine, social. That way, when they hit... 20 or in this case 90 and shooting they'll just move on to the next skill and keep their shooting tops up where they need it as for the kids then so magic uh magic ronadas magic we need to change your name animals nine you got intellectual double passion you know what that'll do Rena is really 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 good at crafting but you're also an ecologist so it'd be a shame not to get that bonus with the plant skill i guess so let's train you up in plants no Ah, growing, of course, of course, it's growing. And then other magic. Oh my god, also an ecologist. I mean, shit, we don't need that many ecologists. Have you got any? Okay, so you've got animals passion. We'll train you to be the animal handler then. Perfect. Actually, that's a bloody good point. How the hell did they get out of the game in the first place when it's all set to the? It's the same thing with adults. How were you savaged by? Oh, I wonder if they stepped out of the gate and then they tr tried to flee. And then ran in this direction. If so, that's very silly. Well, let's make sure these gates are forbidden. Oh, shit. So I'm trying to figure out upgrades for the hospital. Just to try and make it slightly more efficient. Just so we don't have another repeat of Dodgy Dave. And the bronze tiles have 0 0.6 cleanliness. That's the same as a sterile tile. But in the medieval era. The problem is we need a lot of bronze for it. Which we're going to have to craft manually. Which is going to take a bloody long time, but that would be an amazing upgrade. Presume we make that from tin and copper, or not. Uh, what about here? Make bronze from steel and stone. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. That's close enough. I get it, though. It's a good idea. If, if you don't have access to much steel, which we, which we don't right now, you can just make the small amount of steel you've got into a lot of bronze by combining with the stone chunk. It's weaker, but it goes a lot further. So if you need to outfit a whole army, that's a good plan. I like it. Oh my god, it's happened. It's happened, but she's not out of prison. Oh, shit. Well, that is interesting. Raid from the Southern Tribes. Our old friend. They're probably here for Wes. Let's be honest. Probably here to try and bust him out. What are we looking at? 50. F well, 50 is not too bad, but you got to bear in mind, it's 50 versus what? 12. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's really inspiring. Why are they doing that? Oh, shit. They'd only bash down a door if their pathfinding is obstructed, but I don't think it is. Held open. Oh, Christ, is my grand idea not going to work? Has something changed? <laughs> I don't understand what has changed for them to do this. Now they're turning around. Stop, 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 stop. Just turn around, just turn around. Don't, don't smash that, just go, just leave, just go. Yes, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I don't know why they started to go through that door and then changed their mind, but we should be good. Every, no, fuck off, go home. Don't, don't, don't do it. 
Don't do it, though. 66 out of 180. Well, that was close. I would love to build the medieval gates out of something more durable, trust me, but uh, we can't. For some reason, it's bone or red wood, and that's it. Probably just replace it with a limestone door or something like that, I suppose. Caravan is waiting with its delivery until your map is clear of danger. They carry... Was that 3,000 steel ingots? Did I read that right? I really bloody read it at all. Another caravan has turned up. I think they might have distracted them very... Oh, no. Turn around. That's it. Turn around. Don't do this again. We need to give everybody... <laughs> everybody scorpion turrets that this is going to work. We'll try and get those built soon. Can we get any more wood? It's just non-stop. Problem with having to build bloody passive coolers everywhere. I can't build siege weapons. Surely that settlement is built that we sent out with... Huh. Oh, apparently so. Oh, that's good. <laughs> lover's party cancelled. Yeah, maybe now's not the best time for a lover's party. As the enemy crosses the threshold, you shits. <laughs> oh, what an inconvenience. I've got to cancel my orgy because we're under attack. What a shame. Uh, start shooting, though. Please. Please sh please shoot the bad people. They can get cover behind those walls. That's a fair point. That's a, that's a bit of an oversight. Thank God for steroid. Oh, shit, that's a powerful combo. Hang on, steroid, 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 just so you don't overheat. Let's cancel regular ice spike and just focus on holding them still so that the... Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, cancel that one. Just so that he can focus on freezing them so that then the... The ballister can deal with them instead. Oh, shit, that's good. There you go. There you go. This is, uh, it's turned into a bit of a slideshow, but my god, it's working fine. And they're all dying of hypothermia. Oh, shit. Get him, crossbow. Get him, crossbow. Nice, good hit. Okay, we might have to send them out. Oh, it's so slow. Steroid's so big brain. Just build defenses so powerful, that it breaks apart the fabric of reality. I mean, it's genius. Shit. Uh, let's start backing off. Start backing off. Uh, let's just bring him to, I guess we'll take him to there. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. No, 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 no. Get back on the, get back on those guns. No, don't come through here. Stop that. Oh, okay. Search and destroy. Because we're going to have to fight them either way. Or we can basically let them smash down the front gate. That's it. Into the meat grinder. Come on. This is horrible. Oh, that was, that was horrible. <laughs> Holy shit. Milky one. It just can't, it just can't hold himself back. Well, that's hopefully sent him a bit of a message. Are there any people to grab? We've got to do what Dave never could and start bringing some young people into this colony. 18. You'll do. How old are you? 60. 50. Oh, shit. 21. What is going on? Oh, my God. I thought it was a raid. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another raid. It's just the world's biggest caravan delivering thousands of steel. Was it actually 3,500? Well, that will definitely make us the bronze we need. Thank you. Oh, thank God we've got steroid on board to do all the important research. Charcoal? Septic tanks? Military axes? I mean, glyph deciphering for the Stargates. I don't know what it does, though. Maybe we just get through the last bits of the medieval stuff. There's still a lot of medieval stuff, don't get me wrong. But man, if, if steroid could bring about the Industrial Revolution, that would be... That would be nuts. Let's keep going. Just keep going. Just don't stop. We've got someone else we can put on the research with him. We've got anyone else with any sort of potential whatsoever. Sweetsea. Congrats, you're drafted. I take that back. Sweetsea, you're fired. <laughs> uh, what about... Hear me out here. What about Yulia Magic? 10 years of age, 8.58 intellectual. We can have her sat behind a desk in the library, learning how to think better, or she could just think better at a desk where it's going to pay off. You know what? You're hired. Congratulations. You've got the job. Pharaoh has chosen you personally to help him with his research. To bring about that better world that Dave or Wes never could. That I put giant bloody iron bars to stop people getting into the Pharaoh's secret research and we've got a giant fish walking through. Oh shit with the two of them that is fast. I mean, almost twice the speed. <laughs> Hardstone boulder turned up fairly mediocre trebuchet into something that might be a bit more effective. That seems like a good idea. Launch a big old fireballs. That seems good in the name of Ra. Where are you going? You know, eat 10 meals. And he had one more point to spend, despite the fact that he spent most of today just doing research. So I've gone for word of inspiration. That plus, hear me out here, that plus the uh, forge to make some sort of armor set. 
This is effectively an upgrade of what he's got, right? Because it takes all of its stats from the quality of the leather. If we can kill another Elder Dragon, which Steroid has proven he can more than do. In fact, we might already have enough leather lying around here somewhere. What have we got? Valhazak leather times 200. We could put an inspiration, keep trying until we get uh, inspired creativity, on on Brody. Brody is 80. And it could. this could be Brody's magnum opus. We could make a set of armor that would dwarf anything else for a long, 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 long time. Question is, could we keep blasting Brody with inspiration after inspiration until we get the one that we want? That's a better question. Uh, steroid? Let's give it a go. Let's do this as soon as possible, because this would be a hell of a goddamn legacy to kick things off with. Go. Be inspired. I, I, I just... I, I mean, what? Oscar. Oscar, come on now. Holy shit. If you could make that legendary gear out of the Valhazak leather, which was the big zombie dragon, it would just be insane. This would just be... This would just be insane. What other options do we have, if any? The Glavinous Leather. Sorry, Galvanous Leather. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that would be quite representative of Wes, of course. We've only got 145, we need 150. In fact, the Valhazak, the Dragon of Death, I think it was. Oh, the Teostra. That was the dragon that, that Steroid killed yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. But that's what his headgear is made out of, right? And that's also what his armor is made out of. Let me go look this up just to make sure that, that, that I'm remembering it correctly. That that's the Elder Dragon. The Teostra is an Elder Dragon with the power to emit a constant fire aura. I mean, I couldn't think of anything better for a uh, an adorant pharaoh wielding a fire sword worshipping a sun god. This all sounds like it's working out perfectly. Now we've got to pray that Brody is alive long enough to make this happen. So let's clear all. Let's go for... I mean, this couldn't be any more perfect for worshippers of the sun god, right? 50 steel ingots, of which we have a shitload now, thanks to that last delivery. 150 ingredients, and one inspired 20.99 crafting skill character. The stars have aligned. Everything has lined up perfectly, and this was just purely coincidental. Just an idea I pulled out of my ass, but it couldn't have worked out any better. We have an armor rack. Because I was going to put down loads of stuff. We could put the treasures on two of the shelves, or on the shelves this side, and fill the rest with the... Uh, with the monster leathers. And maybe I could even split it out into going, uh, keeping the Elder Dragon stuff to the side. Because I don't know that apart. I've only played Monster Hunter for like five minutes. Do we have an armor rack in this? Uh, armor, armor, spelt the wrong way. Nothing yet, but we might get one in the future. The work begins. Brody, sweet, precious Brody. It's 400 work and Brody is 80. If you die before you pull this up, I swear to God, I'll exhume you, resurrect you, and kill you again. I'm going to babysit this whole thing. I'm going to make sure that does not move, and I'm going to make sure Brody is on top form. He needs tending. Get a doctor in here. Who's the best doctor? It's Brody. Ah, oh, shit. Rudy. <laughs> Doctors can only end in Y. Come on. What was that? 90% quality for old age. You can live. What, what's his old age? Initial. Oh, you know what? He'll actually be fine for a while then. Day two. Day two of work begins. Come on, Brody. This needs to be legendary. I mean, it's such a massive chance of it being legendary with the uh, maximum crafting skill and the inspiration. If it's not, I think I'll cry. Cancelled making the armor? No, 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 no. He hasn't. I mean, he actually hasn't, but he also hasn't. How are you this sad? No Pharaoh Emer Okay, fair enough. No Pharaoh Emeritus is a slight problem, given that Wes was executed. No Magi, fine. My friend Accidental King died. Uh, bonded Animal Montego died. My friend Nastadoa, just Bazzy. Alina died. My lover, just Bazzy, and my fiance Nastadoa. Maybe if you, uh, you know, didn't immediately swing into another relationship after your previous one died so much that you're having breakdowns all the time, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. You know, give him a little breathing room. Oh, my fiance is dead, but I'll get with someone immediately. Life's too short. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, I'm not messing around. Come on, legendary. <laughs> of course, of course. Would you expect anything less from Brody? Wow. Oh, that looks different to what I expected. Holy crap. Well. I mean, it's it's maximum stats. It does not get any better. But it, 108% heat insulation. Jesus Christ. Not much defense against cold, but when steroid is a, 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 a frost wizard, for lack of a better word, a, uh, what shit, what's the word? Cryomancer by default. I think that's fine. Move speed minus 0 0.25 rather than whatever the Ravager armor has, which I presume is significantly, significantly greater. 
Oh, it gives him a pain shot threshold. But look at this. Middle and outer. You have to you have to put it on. Brody, you have done this realm a service like no other, my friend. The High Priest of Ra has delivered some godly armor. Let's send Tetmate. Let's send Brody. Let's send Glasses. Let's send the whole lot. They need to look at this. And you know what? You know what? It actually works really well. Let's take off the mask. We gotta do we gotta do some repainting of that. Thank you, Tetmate. Thank you. Oi! <laughs> what the fuck, Rudy? Hey, you put that down, you little shit. Now that right there is a hell of an aesthetic. Wow. Everything goes together surprisingly well. Fire sword in one hand, frost in the other. Remember, no more egotistical pharaohs. That's never going to happen. Not under the watchful eye of Steroid, who's clearly above such things. Nice work. Oh, and you also might have noticed, just to help keep track of who's in charge of what family, I've given the family heads some special armor. I've just given them the other variant of the of the scout armor. I've got the footman armor. Um, and I've also decided to give them the wreaths as well. It's not the most defensive thing, I'll admit, but I think they deserve to be a little little higher than some of the other ones. And then Black Magic is incapable of violence, so he's just wearing the civilian gear, and then the children were also going to just give civilian gear. They don't need armor. And with some incredibly good armor, followed up by a very shitty situation, though to be fair, we no longer need a a building filled with literal fecal matter. I'm pretty happy to say that's a pretty that's a pretty all right start for steroid. And we've got to go deal. Oh, we've got to deal with the salmons tomorrow. Don't let me forget that one. I think I'm all right with that. I think we've done a damn good job. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. The controversial rule of Pharaoh steroid, but I think everything's going to work out right. We need to focus tomorrow on building up the city's population, making sure that we are getting people married as soon as possible with word of love, and of course, trying to get Steroid's family back together, given that his, uh, his lover is currently in prison. Thank you to Kathleen Cleveland, Black Frame, Lyndon the Dragon, Mike Freeman, Drew Whiteley, Amir Brackick, Felis, David Gertman, William Ballard, Space Soap, Nafine, Nexus, Fancy, Singularity, Tonkson, Beta Soldier, Noodle Pokin, Nyan Lathotep, Alex Dimitri, 802.11, Flamester, and Nash EQ. Thank you for joining me on this very not so much ancient Egyptian adventure. Sorry that that took me so long. I just coughed about six times trying to do the outro credits. That was very good. Apologize if your names are slightly wrong. My throat hurts a lot. Thank you to Asgarin, Wolfie, Trash Panda, Paladin, William, DTB, Haley, Rosie, Elkel, Matthias, Yogi, Holzinger, Rommel DK, Tigra, Johnny Badini, Callum James 3, Cameron, Ben Beard, Remy Remy, Zoastria, Luke the Nuke, Toby Cruz, Kevin, Wojtek, Faltanowski, Tim, Standart, Drunken Scott, Piggy Gamer, and Max Lanto as well. <coughs> Out. See you all tomorrow. Assuming I'm still alive. <laughs>